So um, I'm Caroline Van Assen. I'm part of the Medicine Quality Research Group headed by Paul Newton, who is my supervisor together with Celine Kaye and Ben Sartorius. And I'm looking at the epidemiology of diverted, substandard and falsified medical products and the lessons we can take away from the pandemic. At the very start of the pandemic, Paul already uh, was warning us that there would be an in a risk of increased uh, presence of substandard and falsified medical products. And early on with our team, we started to produce monthly reports on the presence of these poor quality medical products in our markets. They were very descriptive in nature. And as you see, for example, the map, all the countries, countries in orange have had alerts on substandard or falsified COVID-19 vaccines during the pandemic. But for my um, default uh, project, I want to go a step further and use temporal analysis, spatial temporal analysis, te analysis techniques because our hypothesis is really that there is um, a pattern in the presence of poor quality medical products in time of um, locations in the world, but also in, in terms of timing over the course of the pandemic. Surveillance of medical products or surveillance of this type of product is very core in, limit in, in most countries. And if there is data available, it's rarely published in accessible databases and, fairly, and, and rarely in scientific journals. But with the Medicine Quality Research Group, we try to facilitate access uh, to evidence in general, and we have multiple tools, but one of them was introduced to you by Alberto, which is our Medicine Quality Monitoring Globe. It contains online news media reports, really newspapers, but because of the uncertainty of this problem, uh, uh, the extent of the problem of substandard and falsified medical product, products is uncertain and um, research is really re neglected. We believe that there is an added value in, in using open source data uh, to, have a, to increase the quality and the quantity of the data and to improve our understanding of the global scale and risk that these type of products can bring along. So currently I'm doing a scoping review, looking at the challenges and the limitations, but also at the advantages that come with using this type of data as data source for research. Because it's really um, during uh, this time of global emergencies, like we had with the pandemic, that we believe it's important to have timely analysis of information to illum illuminate trends and emerging incidences in order to, to put in interventions in place. Um, and finally, for my default projects, I will be looking at what the policy implications of these findings are to inform strategies uh, for the better preparedness of the detection, the, pre the prevention and the response to poor quality medical products. Thank you all.